As they say, new year, new me. We're not doing that this year. I don't know about you, but as for me, it does not work out. I'll go for two weeks and the new me is back to old me. Why is that? Though the time is different, our actions are still the same. So all these promises that we made for ourselves is not working out because we didn't change our actions. So the three things I plan on focusing on is fashion, cooking, and home decor right fashion one thing about fashion i want to focus more on this year is be very intentional i didn't do so bad last year i only really bought things that i either hearted and put in my cart that i've been watching until it goes on sale for a very long time and then purchase it but i would say that when it got to that tail end of the year around the holidays i kind of lost track i kind of got crazy right because all the sales and i was losing my mind and one thing about me is once i get on that roll it's hard for me to stop which is a problem i feel like a lot of women deal with this but I want to be more intentional with what I buy. I don't want to just randomly buy things just because it's on sale. Cause it's good to know how to shop on sale and find things on sale, but it's also a problem because now you buying things just because it's on sale. You buying things because the things to be five hundred dollars now it's two hundred dollars or it's seven hundred dollars, but now it's three hundred. You're still spending money. So though it is a sale, it's not really a sale because it still got you to spend your money, right? So I want to be very very intentional on. I only buy the things that I have listed. I only buy the things that for years or for months I've been looking at and been watching. I, on my phone I have a list of wish lists of things that I want and been wanting for years and um, or things that I'm just like, I really like this. I would like to invest my money in this. Like for example, one thing that I bought this holiday season that was on sale was um, I purchased three things from the brand Ghani. Um, because it's a brand that I've been looking at for a very long time. I just never really bought it. I actually first walked past the store in, uh, not Soho, 23rd Street area. And I would try it on a jacket and it kind of made me start looking at this stuff like, okay, I know Ghani was good, but I never really paid this much attention, so I'm not paying attention. So when I went home, I started looking, it was on the sale. So I purchased two jackets and the boots for the which I love. And I'm just like, oh, this is a brand I really like their style. It's different. It's different from, just, they just always, always do something different. If it's a coat, if it's a jacket, they would tweak the collar or... They will change the shape of the bag. Like something is always different, which I really like. So this is a brand that I'm going to be paying attention to because I really like their things. And I'll invest my money in Ghani because I like their stuff, right? But once again, I'm not about to go and buy everything from Ghani because they're doing a the sale. No, no, no. I'm going to have a list of things specific that I might like from Ghani. And throughout the year, if I see it and I, I, it's a price that I, I, I'm all comfortable with, I will, I will purchase it. So my point is like really being intentional about what I purchased this year. I feel like a lot of the fashion heads are thinking the same because if you don't, you're going to end up buying every time and they're going to be throwing away. Then you're going to be repurchasing. It just, it's a waste. It's a waste. It's not good for you. It's not good for the earth. It's not good for your pockets. I mean, your money could go elsewhere, you know, and the way this world is going, we need to be saving anyway. As for cooking, one thing that I started doing last year and I want to continue doing next year is trying new things, right? The way this world is going, all these wars and all that stuff, yes, it is scary, but we are not to live in fear says the lord so we trust and believe that god is going to take care of us so i'm not worried however he told us to be prepared so whether if these evil people decide to do whatever nonsense they decide to because the world is evil as a wife your job is also prepared for your household the woman the wife prepared in the winter to make sure that um she, she store food in the winter to make sure her family's fed right as a wife especially one with kid or kids or children whatever your job is to make sure that your family's fed. I'm not saying you have to be an expert cook, but learn how to make food. Learn how to cook something. Learn these skills are so vital for survival, whether if it's baking, know how to make your own sauce, you know, and you're not dependent of getting sauce from whoever. If Costco don't sell it, if Whole Foods don't sell it, if shop and stop, stop and shop don't sell it, now your, your kids can't have no pasta, no, no, no. Learn how to make your own pasta. That's the next thing I want to learn how to do. Make my own pasta. Learn how to make your own sauce, your tomato sauce. I've made tomato sauce from scratch. You'll be very surprised. It's not that hard. My son's food, most of the time, if not all the time, except for the go-go co squeeze I get for him from time to time, all his food is homemade since he was a baby. And I continue to make his food because you realize it's really not that hard. So one thing I really want to continue to learn is different meals, different types of cuisines from Africa, from Spanish countries, from the Latin countries, from European countries. It doesn't matter. I want to learn how to make it all, okay? Because I like to try new things and I get bored with food quickly. So I like to know how to make different things. It's really not that hard. Flour, salt, egg, that's it. Mix it, knead it, put in the pasta maker, roll it out, 
keep rolling until it gets thin. You put the, the other machine in, it cuts, if the machine don't even work, it does, it's not even electric. That's one thing I like about it, it's not electric. There's one that's electric that could go in your kitchen aid if you have one, the one, and there's one that's not electric. I wanna get the one that's not electric so I don't have to depend on electricity, God forbid, if it's not, electricity is not on. So just learning to make these things on your own would be so helpful. And if you have a backyard, or even if you don't have a backyard, now technology got this thing where you can grow your own food at home, inside the house, this UV light. Try to grow your own food. I just grew uh, garlic and I just went to the backyard a day ago to look. and. I was slightly doubtful that I might get it right, but it is growing, it is stemming. Like, I'm so proud that it is doing what it needs to do because I didn't think that was possible, low key. And I'm not even doing it in the ground. I just did it in bags just to see if I am able to do it. And then, you know, we can start doing the ground thing, but that just showed me that anything is possible. Like, God gave you working minds, make it work, right? Anything is possible. And now we have YouTube. YouTube University teaches you any and everything, all right? So it's like, I learned how to plant garlic from YouTube. I did ginger, I'm waiting for that baby to sprout, but like there's so many things you can do on your own. You don't have a backyard, that UV light that I keep seeing on YouTube and they sell on Amazon and other places, get it. I just get grossed out by the roots all bunch up together, it makes me, I got, I'm one of those people that can't see a lot of stuff together, it makes me, my skin crawl. But once I can get over that, I'm definitely getting me one of those. But if you have a backyard, make use of it yeah it's cute and pretty nice cute make use of it because when crap hit the fan a cute backyard is not going to save you so and i'm not trying to scare anybody i'm saying that it is going to happen i'm not god i don't know but it's best to be prepared than unprepared you know what i'm saying COVID, a lot of us was not prepared and we suffered um that's why people were running around getting paper towels and not even paper towels toilet paper. like just you know just it's better to be, pre be prepared so that's that for cooking skills and learning new um recipes and learning to cook if you don't know how to cook baby girl get started Baby boy, get started, okay? If you're a single man and you ain't got a wife, baby, you can't wait for sister girl to come cook for you. Cook for yourself, okay? Because you're going to have to eat. And y'all eat a lot, so learn how to cook. And the last thing that I've been, I'm, I want to do coming next year, God willing, is community. And I feel like that's something God's been pulling in my heart. Doing community, um, bringing people together. Because after COVID, I realized that a lot of us are kind of divided. Everybody goes to a different church. The way we used to do community, we don't do anymore. So it's like everybody kind of living their own lives. Not that your kids still can't do that, but people be struggling going through stuff and have nobody to talk to or nobody to pray with because we are also divided. And I feel like God's been putting my heart to bring this community together so we can talk, so we can commune, so we can converse, so we can eat together, break, break bread together, pray for each other. And, when I did that, I loved it. People talked about what they were going through, where they're struggling, what God has like put on their heart to work on, like all these things, prayed at the end. And I think it was so beautiful. And honestly, we don't need a church building to build a community because the church started from just a community of people coming together, eating together, breaking bread together, praying together before a building came. So like the Bible said, we are the church. So that's something that he put on my heart to do. I like home decor, so I kind of went all out. I didn't know paper place, no business, no, 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 no. We did real plates, real silverware, real napkins, real wine glasses, all of that. Cause I want my friends to have that experience of a restaurant, you know? Not like, oh, okay, we just, no, no, no. I need y'all to have the real experience. I feel like God has really put my heart to do more of these dinner parties to bring people back together. Cause we need that. As humans, we need that. We need that communi community. This life is stressful. This life is crazy. This world is crazy. And doing it alone is not going to suffice. Doing it alone is not going to work. So that's one thing that I definitely want to continue doing next year, God willing. So my challenge to you is to also make that list. Keep it short. You can add on as the year going. on. Keep it short so you can feel accomplished when you complete something. Make that list. Be consistent. Guilty. You see me, even YouTube, you see how, you know? Come on now, don't call me out. Just, all right? Consistency. And I realize consistency goes a long way. If we're not consistent with the Lord, our relationship fall off. Even regular relationship, when you're not consistently checking in, not you have to be every day, but when you don't, you know, check in on your friends, that relationship fall, fall apart. So therefore, consistency is so important. So I challenge you to make your few list, change your action, don't worry about the goal, focus on the action, and just take it day by day. Because what the Bible say? Give us this day our daily bread. He didn't say give us this week, this year, this month, our day. No, just this day. So just today, I'll be like, God, give me strength 
to sit up here and make this video. Or God, give me strength to go make this food. Just give us this day our daily bread to do what we need to do, right? Tomorrow, yesterday is gone. Tomorrow we don't know. We just have today. Um, so that is my my challenge to you guys. My husband called it a New Year clock proclamation and God would do the manifestation, right? So New Year proclamation, God does the manifestation, make your list, change your focus, don't worry about the goals, worry about the action and make it happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I cannot wait to see you on the next video. Okay, bye. <laughs>